Now, it's no secret that Golos Field is a deck we're all trying to beat. And when it came to the Win Every Card event, we did. Over and over and over again. Let's rock. What is up, Planes Rockers? It's Crabcore, and we're back to Rock Magic Arena with another deck. I hope that your Win Every Card event went well. Even if you didn't get to the 12 wins, I hope you still had fun being able to build and play whatever you wanted to. I had a lot of fun. I went 10 wins even after losing my first match. So all the games were freaking tense and I thought I was done so many times before I was. Now, I ran this Jeskai Fires deck that I saw from Javier Dominguez who he did go 12 wins with this deck and it just is so impressive. I took a few practice games with it and felt like I had answers at every stage of the game no matter what deck I was going up against. Now, I don't need to go too much into the deck because it's a basic Fires deck where you have the ability to cast uh, two things a turn without paying a mana cost. So it allows you to like do way more than you should be able to on each of your turns as long as you have that exact mana cost to do it. You can play Ugin and Chandra on the same turn if you have freaking six mana. It is awesome. Now, it's kind of a Jeskai Super Friends deck based around Sarkon the Masterless that's going to allow you to turn all your things into Planeswalkers, and then the simple control stuff of Narset and Teferi, all of that's the normal thing. Now, what really brings this deck together is freaking Fey of Wishes that allows you to go into your sideboard. So let's look at that and uh, show you what we have. Elder Spell for Planeswalkers, Prison Realm to get rid of a creature or Planeswalker and allow you to scry. True Love's Kiss, that can be good in the mirror match to let to get rid of your opponent's uh uh, Fires of Invention, Kaya's Wrath, uh, Board Clear, you need them. Tamiyo, that's going to allow you to stop your things from being sacrificed. It'll allow you to dig for stuff, bring things back from your graveyard, and kind of shuts off the Thought Erasure shenanigans of your opponent. Sarkon the Masterless, uh, if you don't have one drawn from your deck, you could pull this if you have a, a whole field of Planeswalkers, and then put them on the battlefield and turn them all into dragons. Really, really good for just instant damage out of nowhere. More board clears with Time Wipe. God Eternals is really, really good in the uh, aggressive matchups. You get rid of the thing, you put a body on the board, gain a ton of life. So good. Huge life swing. Nickel Bolas, choice. Especially with all of these Planeswalkers in your deck, he becomes very versatile. But honestly, his uh, things are really strong in and of themselves. Command the Dread Horde is beautiful. Uh, just so great in the long grindy matchups and will get you back multiple things, especially because your life total tends to be really high in those long grindy matchups. Liliana is really good in kind of the sacrifice of the things where they're not going super wide and they're getting rid of a lot of their stuff because you can make them sacrifice the rest of their creatures and then you can start taking over the board with your tokens. Chandra also, if you just need to get that last bit of burn or clear some boards or another creature again with her minus ability, love it. Casualties of War is so good. It's good for Golos. It's good for the mirror match. It's good for even heck mono red. It gets rid of a few of their things at the same time and just really shuts your opponent out of the game. Plain White Celebration. If you're in an aggressive matchup and your life total is low, if you can land this, you're back in the game forever. The You can gain 16 life if you need to or 12 life, drop a creature on the board. I really love this card. Now, Mass Manipulation is the one that I'm not really that sure about. If you are... Uh, I don't know. It just, I, I never found enough mana to be able to make it go off or even the right mana to make it go off. And it doesn't really work that well with Fires of Invention. As far as I can see, if you know how to use it in this deck, please let me know because I didn't figure it out. I think it's either better replaced with something like an Unmoored Ego or an Ashiok for people that have those like one-off cards that bring their deck together or they're doing some graveyard shenanigans. I think it could be replaced. However, it uh, this sideboard is really sweet and I felt like I had answers for everything at all points of the game. Now, I will say, trigger warning. In these matches, I call Fires of Invention, Grixis Fires or Grixis so many times because Grixis Fires was the very first iteration of this deck that I played. But hopefully you can look past that because we are just zoned into the games and I think you can really learn a lot from these matchups. And uh, man, we wrecked Golos Field just so many times. So check these out and then we'll be back at the end for a recap. Let's do it. ZW Raul Zarek. I actually really like this hand. It's a good hand. But of course, 
we're going second again. Keep steam vents into the castle. Yeah, show me what you got. Forest. Uh-huh. So Shimmer of Possibility, we're hoping we'll find our Grick um, Fires of Invention is the hope here. That should enter untapped. Okay. Fires, no. But I do like Sarkon. Okay. Next turn we Tef. I believe... They're kind of getting hosed by their mana here. It's pretty slow. Okay, so it is Field of the Dead. And it is Fay of Wishes. Okay. Well, we don't have to take... Wait. We do have to take damage here. Uh-huh. Okay. I know my responsibility. Okay. Here goes nothing. Play that out. Let's go look at what we have in our sideboard. I really want to be able to kill the dang Field of the Dead. Is really where my Really, where my issue is here. Sure. Oh, okay. Unmoored ego. God, I need to get Grixis down before. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. Um. Trust me, I have a plan. Nope. So what am I looking for then? Since I'm gonna lose my Grixis fires here. Uh, let's get another white. Since I'm not gonna have fires of invention, what do I want? Damn it. There it is. Now they can just hit it. Okay, well. Wait, they don't have black mana currently. Please don't get black mana. Just a tapped black mana. Please let that be all you have. That would be so amazing if that were the case right now. It's freaking tapped. Oh my God. <laughs> that is the best feeling right now. Yep. Oh, they're gonna just go get a planar cleansing. Sure. Uh, let me see, they're at how many mana right now? Okay, well, first of all, we're gonna play this. Let's go look and see if there's... Anything that will get me out of that? No. There is not. Okay. Well, then I think my best bet... Wait. They are at five mana. Um, so I need to dig. Hmm. Chandra's good. Okay. So then what's my best bet here?
Well, what I can do is pressure them so that they have to planar cleansing. They can't just unmoored ego. So I think that's uh, what I need to do here. Sure. Woo! Holy junk. Okay, so wait. Oh, they can't even planar cleansing here because they only have two white mana. Dude, they're getting so boned by their mana. And they have to unmoored ego for my... Oh, no, I guess not. Well, no, yeah, they have to. Unmoored ego, my Chandra here, they just die. I think I just win this game. Because then, look, I can... I can kill this with time wipe. Then Chandra. Okay, so look. Do this. We time wipe. Kill their board. Play Chandra. This. Chandra. Next. All attack. Then. Freaking plus and plus. Mmm. Like I'll keep it. I can't remember if it's nine or ten that you get that. Shirt. Shirt. Okay, so we'll ding ourselves because we need to go find a land. Steam vents is fine. Okay, Abzan, huh? Well, it's probably just a Field of the Dead deck. This is just to activate Golos when they get there. Sure. The ramp is real. Yeah, it's just a Field of the Dead deck. Uh, Do we have anything on three? Oh, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. I don't really want to bounce one of those to the hand. 9 is sealed, 11 is every card. Yeah. So, I mean, only two more wins until we get the, until we get the, like, miniature payoff. I, <laughs> I don't see us going 11. Although, we have won seven games in a row, so it would be interesting to see if we could keep it up. Yeet. Uh huh. Sorry, I'm late. Okay, so we're really we really need an untapped mana next turn. Like we really need an untapped mana next turn. Damn. I don't want to do this, but freaking a still not. Uh, that's fine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, I don't know that this 100% matters because they didn't really have land before. I've got it. Yeah, they're digging. They are digging. Well, that puts us in a very fine position, I suppose. The crisis. Hmm. Okay. So let's uh, fires here.
then we'll play this. Play that. Sarkon here. We begin. So here, the thing is, I can either get rid of one of these, which is fine, without using another spell. So they just decide what they want to do. Interesting, interesting. Okay. So far, so good. It's a jellyfish hydra beast. It's not an elemental, so it can get dinged with her if we need it. But so far, this is feeling pretty good. I think I'd really like a Fey of Wishes, so I can kill one of these. Kill one of the Field of the Deads, kill their creature... Do you think like like they concede because we're just like our deck is better against them or worse against them? Interesting. Yeah, I feel like we have a decent decent game against them. Uh sure. Got to play that. Okay, now I could kill their board off. I kind of want a Narset here, though, and then just make a dragon. Oh, the enemy deck is better? I guess. Keep an open mind. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a bummer. This might be a bad idea. Let's do that. <laughs> Who knows if I am making mistakes here? But they are really messed up on their lands right now which has given me a benefit i really need fey of wishes yeah fey of wishes is kind of the thing that i'm looking for so i can get uh i want casualties of war well i need a land first before i can even do that so that's not the best draw Oh, there they go. But it's still not going to get them up to their seven because they have two Field of the Dead. And we have plenty. Absolutely plenty of... Okay, that's good. Okay, enters tapped. So here we can play Chandra or Chandra. That's not elemental. Okay, so we're going to deal three damage to each non-elemental creature. Then we're going to do this. Make everything a dragon. Next. Shoot one at Teferi. Shoot all of these at face. Come on. Okay. Okay. Four attackers, bada boom. Okay, and then maybe we just do a backup fires here for poops and giggles. Uh, up to fairy and call it good. Mm. 
and they can't draw any more cards off of Krasis, which we can just kill. With Justice Strike. And Sarkon is up at four, so it gets past Nyssa. What do they get on three mana here that gets them back into this game? Elder Spell. Yep, you got it. That's what they get. Well, they're not adding it to anything. That's good. That's good news. Sure. Okay, we really want, like, Fae of Wishes. It's like our one bomb card that we've not seen this whole matchup. And we're doing fairly decent on life total still. Plus, we can get, like, a Deafening Clarion if we need to. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so let's go. Let, what do we want out of our side here, then? Uh, we can get Command the Dreadhorde. Is Command the Dreadhorde the card that we want right here? Okay, so let's go do this. We'll dig. Okay, so if we get command, then we can get a few things back. Let's see here. Okay. So we will want... Um, Sarkon, for sure. Uh, Teferi, right? Okay, so that is eight damage to us. Submit. Okay. Let's just take those two. We'll bounce one of these. Here we go. Then we will create a dragon. So then any sort of attacking they do at us is going to kill these things. Okay, so they ping that back. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. oh, they kill this Sarkon with the token, but then we just win with our other one because they don't know that we have it. There is no peace in and we have Teferi on our turn, so they can't do anything. This game is so damn close. Do they have, what are they playing? Oh, I see. I see, I see. Well, that's just game then. Yeah, that's just game. None of these have reach. Oh, 
freaking A. Uh, e hell yeah. Like, hell yeah. The only thing that would make this better would be going first. Other than that, this is like a nuts draw. We don't need more land. Try it with this one. Okay, one sec. Uh, Tef here. I'm known for my excellent timing. All right, let me see what you got. Yeah, that's a that's a good list. I I did practice with that one, and I just could not get the deck. Like I kept having mana problems, and I hated the feeling of what happened whenever I was like struggling with my mana. Ooh. Okay. So this is going to go get me some blue. You know. And we're going to Grixis Fires here. So now here's the question. I just leave this, right? I just plus it and leave it. I'm a big fan of Sarkon here. Uh, God, I kind of do want to bounce this back to their hand because then they can't, they won't draw any cards off of it anyway. But I think we'll wait a turn. We shall wait. I don't want to give them many more options right now. Sure. Well, that didn't pan out. Sure. Sure. Uh, I don't think I have, uh, okay, so here's what I, ca I can do. Uh, we're going to dig. That's exactly what we want right there. Perfect. Okay. Enters tapped. Okay. So we're going to do this. Uh, we're gonna up this. We're gonna do this. Deal three damage. Give my creatures life link. Then we're going to plus. Simic ramp not bad versus your blood of tears mass. Yeah. That's it's decent, not gonna lie. But the yeah, I just I kept having so many freaking problems with the deck for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, if this is all they do this turn, then I can just win this game. Cause I plus my th I plus my things, and then I get Chandra out of the board. Oh, or just Chandra off the top. Uh, enters tapped. All right, we did it, yo. If you haven't heard of me, then get ready to meet my slave. Okay, let's not misclick here. Freaking 10 wins. <clears throat> 
All right, Planes Rockers, there you have it. That's the Jeskai Fires deck. It is a lot of fun, very powerful, and it feels like you have options just at every stage of the game. And I feel like I could have gone the 12 wins if uh, some of the matches just had a little bit of a better draw. Uh, however, it has so many answers against all that's going on in the format. And like I said, with a little bit of more sideboard uh, transformation, uh, this is just a sweet deck that I think can get a lot of wins, even in a Golos Field format. So... Hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned from those matchups. And I think that if you are looking to go forward and don't want to play Golos Field, this is a really, really good option instead. So hope you're enjoying the content. If you are, please hit that subscribe button down below and become a Planes Rocker. We have Planes Rockers popping up everywhere, and I'd love for you to be part of the band. So hit that button down below, or I'll have something handy for you to click at the end of the video. Also, I have some other sweet videos that I've played, uh, some other competitive stuff and some really cool things that I've done in this format as well that I think you would love to check out. So I'll have those for you at the end of this video as well. Hope you're enjoying this format. Hope you're rocking. Hope you're winning. And we got some more stuff coming out. But until next time, keep rocking on MTG Arena. Peace out.